Yeah, certainly the uh, noise was a big concern for MCAS Miramar when the folks were out here talking, but so was the F-35 aircraft that will soon take to the skies over Miramar. Those same 66% of the available air aviation training ranges just so happened to be within one flight's distance of Miramar. Miramar Marines met with community leaders to show off their operation and talk about concerns. Things change over time, but I think what, what they'll see after this afternoon is the why we do things here at Miramar hasn't really changed in really since 1917. A smaller forum is hosted monthly, but this time it was opened up to a wider audience, like Tony Garcia from Scripps Ranch, who asked about how the base handles noise. It's being a good neighbor. It's being a good neighbor um, and addressing the, the, I mean, the noise complaints can be annoying. Uh, I mean, everybody wants their peace and quiet, especially at night, but it's, like, all that stuff is just minor. It's really minor because of what the base means to us. And I'm not a person that stands up and says, that's the sound of freedom. We really try and do understand and make sure that people are aware that we're empathetic to the impacts of the community. They also opened up the MCAS Tower. The Department of Defense and Marines orchestrate the delicate dance of planes and helicopters in a crowded airspace. These are the last few months for some of these F-18s. The military is phasing in the new single-engine one-man F-35. They're only about one or two decibels louder, but a higher pitch, so you may notice a difference early next year. We give everything we have to being ready to go today. And I even tell my Marines they're one set of orders away from deploying somewhere in the world to do something. So be ready to go. And the F-35 replacement will happen gradually over the next few years, likely starting in early 2020.